Hi everyone, it's Sarah, uh, my Serenity Crafts, and today I wanted to show what I came up with for my swap that I'm in for stick pins. Uh, it's at artandsassy.ning.com. Um, it was a, it was called a garden party stick pin theme, so it had to. Ha they suggested flowers and leaves and things like that. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you the pins, and then I want to talk about these little cases that I made. Uh, to hold them. So this is, I had to make three sets of three. So this is my first set. And it's just basic, like, I put charms on a couple of them. There's um, furnace glass beads. This one has a leaf, so that was good, I thought. And then a hummingbird on that one. And then this one has, again, more flower beads. I'm trying to look at, at it, not through the camera. Uh, I put a couple charms, and that's a leaf bead. I thought they were so pretty, these leaf beads. Can you see that? Yep, and then my third set. I did a bunch of different ones. I didn't do any the same, really. Um, but these are all similar, these beads, these floral uh, beads. I love. They're glass. And then I tried to use spacers with a flower or a butterfly or you know something garden themed uh, this is a dragonfly and I put a little dragonfly spacer up there as a charm and then this one I made for the hostess um, Kimberly her name is and this one is just some of my favorites because of course you always make extras when you're doing these so I just used um, furnace glass on these which are beautiful and then I made a um, an angel. I love these. These are, uh, I actually got these at Michael's yesterday, these turquoise ones, and I wanted to make something with it, so I did these last night. So, that's the beads, I mean the pins, and then I wanted to tell you about these. I got the tutorial off YouTube. Um, Luisa Diaz has a very nice matchbook stick pin to holder tutorial, so that's all you need to do is go to her um, channel and check it out. Um, I had to change a couple things because my pins were taller here and shorter here. So she had more room down here and less room up here. So that wasn't a big deal. So, but it all, I mean, I only, um, I had one, <laughs> I had a prototype that I used because I, I did end up scoring it a little low and then, you know, I figured it out. But Basically, she uh, used double-sided paper because that way you wouldn't have to put anything inside. But I only had this. This paper is, uh, I cuts with a view. I can't remember. It's over there. I can't remember the name of it. But um, I just cut paper, you know, left a little smidge of room around it and then cut paper and attached that inside. And then this one, I made the clasps a little butterfly. I actually use clear embossing powder on the butterfly to make them a little stiffer. I just cut, uh, use the Martha Stewart punch and punched him from a piece of the paper. And this is another punch. And that holds it closed just fine. And then on these I use the belly band, I guess they call them. And so you just stick it in there. And I think my son's going to come down here in a minute. But anyway, these are awesome. I love them. They were perfect for what I needed. Now, she had made hers a little wider, too. I forgot because she was putting four. I only put three. So, those are my stick pins that I'm sending out for my swap. And then I wanted to show you, of course, I made extra. So, I ended up making this little pin cushion. And I, I didn't see a specific tutorial on this. It was more... Um, people doing shares with what what they had done and then I just kind of took it from there and kind of went with that and made made my own. I don't have a lot of embellishments so I just tied some uh, ribbons and put a flower and stuff and then this is a uh, pink satin with a little bit of lace on top. I just got it Joann's. Um, this one, as you can see I've been busy making stick pins, is actually a glass bowl that I had had for forever and I mod podged a napkin that was kind of like a Parisian theme. It's got butterflies and music sheets and 
I don't know, a bunch of random stuff. And I thought that turned out okay. And you don't really see it because it's kind of low to the, the ground. So that's why I didn't really mind what it looked like after. And I just put a little lace on top. So you see that more anyway. And I used the little yellow um, daisy paint, uh, fabric that I had. But um, I was a little stick pin crazy last week. So um, some of my favorites are the ones with the furnace glass. I love these. That looks like a piece of candy. So, um, so that's what I wanted to share with you today. Um, I hope everyone's having a very crafty time out there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.